Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. If you always watch our channel, you may know that the news of Chinese chip and ASML. With the development of information and the convenience of the internet, people's lifestyles and living habits have undergone great changes and the living environment they live in has also begun to change with each passing day. High-speed trains, computers, mobile phones, artificial intelligence, robots, drones, etc., more and more technological products have covered all aspects of life, and it feels that there are technological elements everywhere, and the sense of modernity is particularly strong. It is precisely because technology is becoming more and more developed that the demand for chips is increasing and the requirements are getting higher and higher. Chips are used in most technology products in daily life, and the R&D and production of chips are particularly important. Even the matching equipment and instruments cannot be ignored, just like lithography machines. Among all the equipment, the lithography machine is the most critical, and at the same time, the cost is the highest, accounting for a quarter of the cost of all equipment, and it is very time-consuming. It is still very difficult to own a certain amount of lithography machines. On the one hand, the cost is too high, and it is difficult to realize without sufficient economic strength. Secondly, if you have enough funds, you may not be able to get them right away, because the manufacturers that supply lithography machines are very limited. In the world, only ASML, Canon, Nikon, and Shanghai Microelectronics have production capacity, so it is necessary to successfully win lithography machines. Not simple. In terms of technical strength, ASML is undoubtedly the strongest. Only he can produce EUV lithography machines. Chip manufacturers who want to pursue higher technology can only stare at ASML, who will make it superior and stand at the top of technology. Everyone is definitely not happy about such a passive situation and we are also looking forward to some manufacturers making breakthroughs in lithography machine technology, so that we don't have to keep looking at ASML's face. The lithography machine has been successfully developed in China, and the mass production of quantum chips is just around the corner. Everyone has been working hard on the research and development and production of chips, and both technology and process are being improved and upgraded step by step. Today's silicon-based chips have reached the physical limit, and it is difficult to continue to break through. So finding a new path is the next development direction, so quantum chips came into being. Some companies are very forward-looking, not only conscious, but also taking action. Just like IBM, which released the Eagle chip last year, and then released the Osprey chip this year, it has achieved good results in quantum chips. Now that the technology has made new breakthroughs, let's take advantage of the victory and pursue it, and strive to achieve the goal of surpassing silicon-based chips as soon as possible. IBM is still confident about this, because quantum-centric supercomputers will come out in the near future, that is, in the past one or two years. If this day can come, there will be a qualitative leap in the field of chips. Seeing that other countries are performing in full swing in the field of chips, it is impossible for China to be just an audience. As long as it is willing to work hard, it will one day become the protagonist. You must know that China itself has no advantages over others. 
If you want to get rid of the passive situation, you can only speed up your pace. It is absolutely impossible to sit still and wait for death. It is the Chinese style to swim against the current. In fact, China still has some achievements in terms of the goal of quantum chips. The relevant departments in Anhui have given good news that the quantum computer, Wukong, is about to break out of its shell. Everyone is looking forward to it and hopes that it can really soar into the sky like Wukong, and it will be a blockbuster, which will shock everyone. In order to achieve this goal, China is constantly speeding up the pace, and the Wukong chip is busy in production. Now that the supporting chips are being prepared, the birth of Wukong should not be far away. Don't underestimate the Wukong core. The Quantum Computing Engineering Research Center in Anhui has worked hard to develop a non-destructive probe station, which is specially developed for the Wukong core, in order to ensure the effective production of the Wukong core. With it, the goal of quantum chips will be faster and more stable. It can not only greatly shorten the chip development cycle, but also ensure the quality. That is to say, once China's quantum chips come out in the later stage, they must be fine products. Such a machine, IBM, has been around for a long time, and it is needed for the production of quantum chips. Now China has also developed it, which is a major breakthrough. From now on, China also has the initiative and the right to speak in quantum chips, and the problem of lithography machines has been solved, which indicates that China has also reached a new height in the field of chip semiconductors. China has indeed suffered losses in chips before, because China is slower than others and does not have the strength of others. So I can only live under the fence and be led by others. If you want to change this situation, you can only rely on yourself. Fortunately, China has persisted enough and worked hard enough to make great breakthroughs and progress in quantum chips. In the next few years, China's general-purpose computer is no longer a dream, it will eventually be realized, and a new chapter will be opened in terms of quantum chips. For this day, everyone also hopes to see it as soon as possible, and at the same time let people all over the world see China's determination and attitude in the field of science and technology. I also hope that Chinese companies will never forget their original aspirations, forge ahead, and shoulder their mission and social responsibility, constantly break through and challenge yourself. Thank you for your watching.